Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 Horse Lords as the Mongol Empire. In our last episode we had a succession as our previous character, Genghis Khan al the Wolf, who was a pretty cool guy of course, died at the pretty impressive age of 77. Also, despite sounding so fearsome and impressive, he was a gardener, let's not forget. Anyway, we're now playing as Kagan Barogul the Wolf, who himself is actually pretty old, so we're not likely to live that long as this character. That's okay though, we have um, a few, uh, two younger heirs lined up, and in fact we don't really want to play as Altan here, or at least I don't, even though he's a fairly good character, just because our next heir is a wolf-blooded character, which is something that I would like to have on my playable character, if at all possible. And uh, he is married, he will hopefully have some children pretty soon. And we are actually trying to kill Altan, which um, is probably not going to happen. Maybe we'll just cancel this plot and uh, let the chips fall where they may. I guess we may as well actually get Altan married while we're at it. Both of these characters are fairly old, and it might be better to play it a little bit safe when it comes to making sure we have heirs. Even if it sort of slightly lowers our chance of playing as a wolf-blooded character. And nobody with the strong trait, it looks like, except for this five-year-old who, in any event, is related to him. I guess we'll just choose somebody of an appropriate age, then. You'll do just fine, I guess. Alright, he loses prestige. Actually, this is a great idea. We get him married, he loses prestige, and then, presumably, Kadan will have the most prestige among our possible heirs, and he will take over. And the Toad again have become Iconoclast, okay. I'm not sure if they were one of the clans that were already Iconoclast, but... That's fine, we have a niece that needs an education. Sure, our spy master can do that. Let's wait for this marriage to go through. We, of course, we we're also at war with the Bulgars. Our succession in the last episode ended our tributary relationship with them, so I decided we might as well just take some land from them directly. And that should flip our heirs around. He's gone to 87 prestige, where Kadan here is at 136. So I assume that will update at some point. And we'll pillage all the holdings we can pillage, of course. Uh, this one is still going to take a while, that's okay. We are not building an upgrade in our capital right now, so let's get one started. Even though it's still on fire from the looting that happened last time. Uh, we apparently can't do this because... Oh right, the trade post, which also got destroyed. We are rebuilding that though. Okay. And I think we lost some upgrades as well in that raid. I'm pretty sure we had a Lamellar Armor Crafter, at least level 1, for example. Why don't we just rebuild that? And we should definitely be a bit more diligent in the future about uh, protecting our capital from raids. Okay, there's our trade post. Which is starting to make some money immediately. Okay, there we go, there's the update we were waiting for. So, wolf blooded Kadan here is our next heir. How close are you to being destroyed? Not that close. But that's okay. So let's see, we definitely don't need to keep our whole army together. We're going to suffer attrition in some of these counties, maybe. Uh, actually, we're not. I think we'll still split into at least two armies anyway. Send one north to stop them taking the capital back, and send one down here to start occupying at least some land in our target duchy. One of our vassals has contracted the bubonic plague. 
that sounds bad. Let's hope that doesn't spread too far. We do need to appoint a new steward here. Uh, I think I won't appoint this guy, even though he is better for the job. This guy is actually going to be just as good once he fulfills his ambition, and he is a vassal Khan, which makes him more important. We'll have him oversee construction in our capital, so we can crank through the upgrades a bit quicker. Uh, he took back the capital, that's fine, we should be able to assault it back very quickly once we get there. This is going to take a bit more pillaging too, that's fine. Uh, I think we'll head north and then back here just to wipe out that army. And actually our vassal is taking care of occupying this. There is there are two holdings there actually, so we'll be able to actually occupy that. This one has no holding, so if we want to maintain occupation of that we'll have to park an army there. Uh, so I guess we'll just let our vassal take care of these occupations then, and we'll and then some Bulgar armies and try and fight them. There's one battle in our favor. And we're already heading back to the capital, so we'll take care of that automatically. Oh, there's a neutral army in here. Who are not in charge of the siege. We're in charge of the siege, okay. That's good. I guess he's in some other war or two. Oh yes, the uh, Kiev War, of course, and he's defending in a war against our vassal clan. Okay, this is a conquest war, I think, or a Cheremisa. Okay, well that doesn't interfere with our war, if that's a single county conquest for this one county, unless it's for the entire duchy. Still doesn't interfere with our war. Ooh, somebody else. Contracting bubonic plague. Uh, people who are in our court now. This is pretty bad. Minus seven health, wow. All right then. Oh dear. Our heir has caught the bubonic plague. And I guess we lost our court chaplain here of the dreaded plague. This could be bad. Uh, okay, so we need to appoint a new court chaplain. I guess we'll appoint him, since that will improve clan sentiment. We have a dangerous faction also. Uh, these guys want to overthrow me as Khan. Okay, we definitely don't want to allow that. They don't like the fact that I'm a cannibal. Well, can't really say I blame them. We'll hand out some honorary titles to these people. Yeah, they're all plus 15, so it doesn't matter that much. And we do have a decent amount of gold available, so if they don't want exorbitant bribes, we can afford to do that. And I think we probably should. That's a reasonable use of 150 gold. Thanks to my wise stewardship of Samarkand, the local thieves' guild has been eradicated. Okay, good. More people attracting or contracting the bubonic plague in our court. I wonder if uh, our going into hiding would help. Though I don't think we actually have the option unless we know that someone's plotting against us. I guess we're probably not in our court, we're probably leading one of these armies, so maybe that helps. Assuming there's no bubonic plague wherever we are. Okay, we lost our marshal, presumably to the plague. So we'll appoint this guy and have him go and train warriors. We still have our faction. Presumably one of these guys will get out. Also, it's actually not at a strength where it's in danger of firing right now, so... I think we're okay. 
Temujin here has contracted the bubonic plague. No relation to the Temujin, I guess. And our niece has contracted it. She's also ill, so she doesn't uh, really have a great life expectancy, I imagine. Uh, this was our half-brother's wife, okay. She didn't manage to give him an heir before dying of the plague. How is our actual heir going? He apparently survived the plague. Okay, great. But his wife has it. Uh, well, we might have to get him remarried, but I assume if he survives the plague, that means he's just not going to contract it again. It makes sense if that's how it works. Alright, let's head north here. This is their vassal clan, I assume. So we will get war score from fighting them. Uh, we finished our upgrade at some point in here, so let's get another one started. Hmm. Do the fishing village. So our population is sort of getting up towards the 90% range, which will allow us to do an invasion, and we do have some interesting targets on our borders, like Hungary, for example. Maybe it would be better to go after Rus. Could go for the kingdom title. All of this du jour land in here. Okay, High Chief is usurping things, that's fine. Uh, we may or may not catch this army in here. We are going to, that's good. Why don't you head back here so that they can't do any sieges? Okay, I haven't seen anyone dying of the plague recently, so maybe the Infection has run its course. Let's hope so. It seems like we survived and our heir survived, so that's the most important thing. And it looks like his wife has gotten over it as well. Which is great news. They just need to start having some children pretty soon, that would be nice. I guess if we inherit as him, we can take some concubines to make sure that he has an heir. Passes on his wolf's blood. Okay, we'll leave some troops in here to maintain the occupation since there's no holdings in this county, and we'll send some more on to siege this one. We're up to 87% already, though. We definitely want to make sure that they don't take back the capital here. Oh, and that gets us 100% grace. We'll enforce our demands. Gain this land. Of course, the clans will immediately start demanding some. Uh, for the moment, we'll do some pillaging. If I click this, it will go into the settle notification, so we'll just wait to do it more conveniently later. Okay, so this new land that we just gained in here. We... Gained some vassals there, gained this holding directly. Alright, so rather than give out a county to an existing clan, I think we might try to split one of them. Of course, we could really split our own clan without too much uh, loss, I think, but if we can split a vassal clan, even better. And I think we have to do the highest population vassal clan, which is these guys. We could give them one of our new counties here, Mordva, perhaps. Or we can't, okay. Alright, we have to give them one of uh, this clan's counties, that makes more sense. 
Still not quite used to how this whole thing works. So they have, um, let's see, that's the Belgutai clan. They have land up here, and a lot down here, okay. Maybe we could just give them a southern county and not have to worry about it too much. Uh, like the county of Maymana. I assume these guys will actually refuse and we're probably going to have to fight them. But I'm not too concerned about that. Apparently we can't give them that. I imagine actually that this land is all uh, feudal and this is all part of um, his vassal's land. So that's why we can't give him that. Maybe we'll just give him... Votyaki. Yeah, he'll say no. So do we want to fight our vassal and force them to split their clan, or do we want to just split our own clan? I think we split our own clan a few times, so... Oh, they have a lot of land down here, too. We split our own clan a few times, so I think we'll do it this way. We shouldn't have too much trouble fighting him. We can definitely afford to actually build more horde units right now, so... We'll do it. Probably should have waited at least until we had our troops back together here, but that's okay. Uh, let's actually get some new horde units built right now. Uh, so we could build the pure horse archers, or we could start building some heavy cavalry. Probably good. Let's just build, like, a thousand more horse archers, or will be a thousand once they've reinforced. Oh, okay, is this our faction firing? It is, okay. We have shown ourselves weak, and he speaks for all the clans when he says it is time for us to hand over the bridle to someone more worthy. Well, we'll not be blackmailed. But this could be an issue. Install Aronartai Cruel as Khan of the Mongol Empire. Okay. Let's see, they have 250 troops here. I assume we're going to have to fight our other vassal as well at the same time. And of course we have a Catholic uprising also at the same time. We lost our steward. He's one of the rebels, I guess. Okay, so we'll definitely put the... Uh, yes, you refuse to split your clan. We'll definitely put the Catholic rebels over in Samarkand on the back burner. That's actually a fairly large Catholic uprising. Okay. They have uh, risen up right on top of a host army. Interesting. Can we see what you are invading? Apparently not. That's fine, though. Alright, we have 11,000 here. Belonging to the Mongol Revolt. That's this one. Actually, they're both Mongol revolts, so I guess we don't know which is which. So we'll just try to get our armies away from there, if at all possible. We have enough troops to uh, fight that, as long as we have them all together. Uh, I suppose we'll appoint you as our steward and have you oversee construction. And I suppose we should call in whichever clans are still loyal to us. Which is not many, and not all of them will even accept the call. Okay. We can't let all these revolts interrupt our pillaging, though. Alright, there's the Catholic Revolt taken care of. Thanks, neutral host army. You're gonna get executed. Can we see what they're doing now? He's Mongol, and he is... not pressing his claim anywhere. Okay, weird. Guess he's just wandering around. Doing good deeds. Well, I appreciate it. Ooh, so we might have a problem here. You are trying to catch my army there. 
He'll arrive on the 8th of May. We're going to be out well in time, though, so that's fine. And as expected, one of our cans came in. He's right here, actually. We will put this bishop into the dungeons. Ransom him. Okay, what is the supply limit here? Only 13k, so we can't really put any more troops in there. Alright, so I think we have to fight this 12,000 uh, sooner rather than later. So if they're headed here, maybe we can tempt them into attacking us across the major river by moving into the neighboring county. I guess we'll appoint our half-brother here as our chancellor, though he'd make a much better marshal, and that's his ambition as well. Although we have an amazing marshal in charge right now. Okay, he'll just be chancellor. Okay, so we'll try and tempt them across the river. We should be able to reinforce in time, or let's hope so. Yeah, not a very long travel time there. Alright, well we're out of time for this episode, so we'll have to continue our efforts to put down these revolts next time. Thanks for watching, and join me again then.